Oklahoma City Astro Pascal Siakam, Fred Van Vleet, and four unprotected first round picks as a starting point for Paul George. Toronto can. Being in Canada is a bit of a holdup, particularly for American born players. Yo, guys, what is the other y'all? It's your boy Dean Bay here, and back to another video. If you are new, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, smash the comment section, really grinding each and every day. And um, in today's video, I'm bringing back another Raptors video. And today, I'll be talking about how the Raptors on build a super team in 2019 and the problems of most of the super teams. So I hope you all enjoy. Watch the full video. Like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy. A team full of all stars and MVPs don't really come often. Teams like these, which make a super team in the NBA, don't really last long, in my opinion. With the Raptors, you see, yeah, they had Kawhi in 2019. They could have made a trade also after winning the championship and getting almost two MVPs in the making. Masai made this decision as he knew what was better for the team as they would have salary cap issues, chemistry problems, and the time to gel together with another other team. With everybody being on a team with a salary cap budget, it's kind of hard to get all superstars and people into the mix. But at the end of the day, after the Raptors won a championship, um, freaking Kawhi left, uh, left the Clippers for Paul George instead of bringing him here. But um, it is what it is and um, yeah, it happens. If the Raptors built a super team, they have to adjust to the cap situation at the time. I really don't know what the cap situation was. I think it was, I think it was, was um, wait, let me know once again. If the Raptors built a super team with Russell Westbrook and Paul George, their salary cap situation would be messed up and they would have to make financial shortcuts and decisions. Yes, the star lineup was Westbrook at the one, Lyra at the two, Paul George at the three, Kawhi at the four, and Gasol at the five. It would be a uh, headache for the league, but I don't know about two guard lineups as two guard lineups are not really powerful. So I don't know how that would go. But with many free agents in the market of 2019, they could have signed Gasol back easily and Danny Green's bird rights, obviously, as uh, NBA always gives loyalty to the team. And also, Lulian Van Vliet it would make the point guard position for the lineup depleted. As he was a key piece in the finals in backing up Larry and Boston Curry. In a box, bitch! And he got one vote by Huey Brown for Finals MVP. But these are placements that have to assess missing pieces in both the guard and forward positions and throwing some other veteran players out with middle level exceptions, aka the vet minimum. So it'd be a situation the Raptors wouldn't want to be in in my situation as they're good, known for having good cap flexibility as they have now. With this problem the Raptors might have as the salary cap arises, they might have to pay the luxury tax, go deep into the luxury tax bill, and lose some assets as they go on if they don't pay this bill. But that's some of the situations they might face and on to the next topic. Building these super teams, chemistry can be hard to come by. As chemistry is important for his team success and win championships, the Raptors don't want this nonchalant and nonsense from Paul George and Westbrook. For example, Westbrook had an issue with a fan in Utah for hackling him and he didn't take it lightly. in Toronto. It happens to most people, but I feel like with Westbrook and Madison that he takes it on the court too, sometimes if they get mad, I feel like Westbrook is something that the fans would like to see, but not like in a good way. You scored the last 11 points. They didn't take a shot at the end of regulation, which is a little frustrating. Well, they just, Draymond was trying to get it to somebody. Like for example, look at KD and Draymond. They got into a fight and then after, after they lost the finals, KD was gone. He dipped. That's one aspect of bad chemistry, I can tell you. Um, with Westbrook and Paul George being bros, I don't think they'll want to pay for Canada, after all. And they will cause issues with the fan base and want to leave immediately. As for the Raptors, they have a very little fan base, and they wouldn't want people who don't want to play for a team playing for the Raptors. Canada's a big country, as it has a whole nation on its side, and Westbrook and both Paul George prefer being the bright lights of LA and playing where they are now. They favor both the Lakers and the Clippers. As for Kawhi, he didn't want freaking uh, Westbrook's bitch ass anyways. I swear, when, uh, when he was playing with Paul George, Westbrook called him, he said, uh, look bro, I didn't want you. So uh, Westbrook felt bad and, uh, he got his, and he got his way out of OKC immediately. So that was funny as shit. Sorry for this for himself, but that's tough. 
with building a team, it takes a lot of time and effort, and building chemistry takes a long time. Building chemistry doesn't happen easy. Building chemistry doesn't happen one night, it doesn't happen one day, it happens over time and over the season, as the NBA season, the marathon, and not a sprint. Alright, that's my statement on super teams and how the Raptors could have built one. Um, if they were to make a super team, it almost feel like the Nets, kind of. I feel like um, with the Nets, they had so many injury issues, but I feel like the Raptors could get around that. But I don't know, that's a bait for y'all people to argue. Like I said, the Nets got work this season, after everybody almost went down, Kyrie, Harden. But um, yeah, the Bucks showed out, showed out and uh, they showed that you don't really need a super team to win almost. And I feel like if you have your core players with all-stars and MVP around you, you can win whatever it takes, man. But if y'all are new, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope you guys had a good day today. Um, if you're new, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and leave a comment if you want. As a grind each and every day. And that's your boy Dean, baby. I'm out. Peace.